Welcome in, everybody, to SHN Sports coverage of Georgetown Eagle basketball. We are live here on the campus of Eastview High School tonight for the 5A Region 3 District 23 matchup, the Battle of the San Gabriel Eastview, the home team tonight, hosting the first matchup of the year between these two crosstown rivals, schools of the same district, whatever you want to call it, and it will draw a crowd here tonight. Eastview comes into the ball game. Currently sitting in second position, make it actually technically third place in the district at four and one. They are 20 and seven overall. Hendrickson and Conley both sit undefeated in district play at five and oh. And that should change here tonight as they face off uh, at Hendrickson High School tonight. Conley on the road at Hendrickson to take on the Hawks. Eastview, then at third, they come in off of a tough loss to Hendrickson the other night, 48-43. to And then Georgetown sits alone in fourth. The Georgetown Eagles, down Eagles on the road, and they will start the cycle of round competition between Tuesday night to 24th, then back home against Pflugerville and Elgin. I'll apologize now. We are having trouble with signal here in the building. Uh, Internet-wise, we've got signal, and it cuts out every now and then. And so we will try to kick it back and forth and figure it out uh, for you. Uh, and so we'll take a quick break. We'll come back, see if we can't get some things worked out uh, with the Wi-Fi signal here in this gymnasium and be back with more Eagle basketball here in a minute on SHN. We're back here live, Eastview High School, about five minutes remaining in warm-ups. The Eastview Patriots in the home whites, the Georgetown Eagles in the visiting black uniforms. The student body for Eastview getting ramped up on the far side of the field. A red out night here for the Patriots. School colors, navy blue, red, and white. And they have a crowd full of red uh, shirts across the way. The student body ready to go for this matchup. Try to make some noise in this district rivalry between the Eastview Patriots and the Georgetown Eagles. Head-to-head -head in this uh, matchup, something to look at. And, and, and on, on uh, the minds, I, I think, of many fans, Georgetown leads this series since its beginning at 20 games to nothing. They have not lost in men's uh, boys basketball to the Eastview Patriots. And tonight it will be a battle between this 20-7 and Patriot team and 16-9 Georgetown Eagle team as they battle uh, for a uh, uh, they tie Georgetown set to tie it up if they can win this game to tie it up in the district standings and have the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams and so a big battle tonight it does a lot for both of these teams and you can either drop uh, Georgetown down to 500 in district at three and three or it can boost them up to four and two and bring Eastview down to them uh, but nonetheless a battle that will uh, is sure to see a lot of action back and forth between these two teams the Eastview Patriots the Georgetown Eagles a lot of things in common and that would be the superintendent Dr. Fred Brent of Georgetown ISD the principal of Eastview High School is Alfonso Longoria. The athletic director for Georgetown Independent School District is Mr. Jason Dean. Athletic coordinator for Eastview High School is Michael Wall. The athletic trainers, Melissa Harrington and Malia Garza. They are Navy, Red, and White. They are head coached by Drew McDormand. Assistant coaches, Eric Carlo and Jeff McDormand. The starting lineup for the Eastview Patriots tonight will go this way as designated by head coach Drew McDormand. At guard, a senior, number one, Jeremy Helton. At guard, a junior, number three, Teron Chappelle. At forward, a sophomore, number 11, Terion Benson. At forward, a senior, number 12, Braxton Mesger. 
And at four to senior, number 22, Jackson Durr. So you'll have Helton, Chappelle, Benson, Mesger, and Durr on the floor to start things out for the Eastview Patriots tonight. Your Georgetown Eagles head coach is David Canfield in his sixth season with the Eagles. Assistant coaches Peter Stackman and Coach O. Brian Johnson, your principal of Georgetown High School. Athletic coordinator is Coach Chuck Griffin. Athletic trainers Chad Hennessy, Vanessa Rideau. Student trainers Jenna Bain, Avery Black, and the student assistants Lucas Reichlich and Michael Lawrence. Georgetown likes to play on the road. This year, 7-2 on the road through this point of the season. In district, averaging 61.2 points, allowing 50.6 points in district play. But the Eastview Patriots like to play at home. They are 9-2 on the year at home. They are averaging 65.6 points a game in district play and allowing just 40.4 points per game so far through district. The average score between these two teams when they have played in the 20 games prior meetings Georgetown has averaged 57.6 points a game, while Eastview has averaged 39.8. It is going to be a battle. The last time these two teams played, they did play once last year, January the 25th on the, uh, of 2022, and Georgetown won that ball game 56-40 over the Patriots. About a minute left here in the warm-ups. We'll save the Georgetown starting lineup for after the uh, national anthem. Uh, but the Georgetown Eagles and the Eastview Patriots headed to their respective benches here as they get ready to start things off. The Eastview Patriots in the home whites, white shorts, white tops with gray and red piping down the sides, red numerals on the front and back. Eastview in navy blue across the front in black uh, or in uh, capital block print lettering uh, on their jerseys. The Georgetown Eagles in the road blacks with the gray numerals EFND across the front of those jerseys. We'll take a timeout. We are going to try to bring you the student choir from Eastview High School tonight. We'll see how it goes across the PA system. So we will take a break here for the national anthem. Then we'll come back for the starting lineups. We'll bring you Georgetown starting lineup. And we'll bring you tonight's action. You're listening to Georgetown Eagle Basketball Live on SHN. Back here live at Eastview High School, Betsa Georgetown High School. They're introducing the Georgetown starting lineup. 
here on the PA and getting ready to introduce the Eastview starting lineup. And you can hear the crowd in the background there. As they uh, ready to go for the big game tonight in the Crosstown rivalry, the Battle of the St. Gabriel in baseball. It's, it was tabbed as the Crosstown Classic. Any way you spin it, it's a battle between these two teams. These, ki these kids are very familiar with each other. They have grown up playing a ball together, going to school together, up through elementary, middle school, and now they do a battle on uh, the court here against each other uh, for bragging rights of uh, these two schools here in Georgetown ISD. The starting lineup for your Georgetown Eagles tonight. At guard, a six-foot sophomore, number one, Q Presley. At forward, a 6'3 junior, number five, Landry Bullion. At guard, a 5'10 junior, number 13, Kai Canfield. At wing, a 6'6 sophomore, number 25, Ryan Dupre. And the big man down low, a 6'6 senior, number 30, Logan Brinkater. Brinkater coming to the ball game off a double-double against, I lost where we were last night, Cedar Creek on a Friday night. Logan uh Finished the ball game with a 23 points, 10 rebounds, and the Eagles will lean on him. Uh, you want to make this, wanted to try to force this Eastview team into an out time shooting team here tonight in the ball game. We'll do it in a time. They'll get ready to jump it off here. It looks like Ryan Dupre will jump things off. Here to start the ball game against Jackson Durr for the Patriots. So on the floor for the Eagles, Presley, Bullion, Canfield, Dupre, and Brinkater. And starting it out for the Eastview Patriots, Helton, Chappelle, Benson, Mesger, and Durr. Eastview will be going right to left, Georgetown left to right to start it off. The three-man appreciating crew, the ball up. Durr tips it and into the hands of Darion Benson. He'll run over Canfield, loses the ball, but into the hands of Chappelle. His shot off the rim, no good. Canfield brings it ahead for Georgetown. Over to Brinkater, left wing. He'll hold it there, up top to Dupre. He'll take a quick three straight on. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound by Jackson Durr for the Patriots. He'll get it off to Chappelle, ahead to Terrion Benson. Drives left wing, kicks it over into the hands of Helton. Skip it over to Durr, right wing. He'll drive all the way in, put it up from the right block, up and in. And the Patriots strike first with the first basket of the ball game. Jackson Durr gets the quick two, and Patriots our Patriots lead it two to nothing. Canfield left wing, kick it over to Debrinkater, but it's tip free by Mesger into the hands of Durr, and here come the Patriots. Durr will drive all the way down around Dupre, but it's blocked into the hands of Presley ahead to Canfield the breakout. Canfield will lay it up from the right side, can't get it to go, but Brinkater gets the rebound and the bucket. Nice play there, and now they'll come back and. A quick 30-second timeout by Coach Canfield. We'll take it with them. Two to two, your score, 709. Left first quarter. Back with more on SHN. Back here live, Eastview High School, two to two your score early on in the ball game, 7.09 left first quarter, a quick bucket there off the Canfield miss. Brinkater gets the rebound, puts it in from the right block, ties it up in a quick 30 second timeout by Coach Canfield. Now the Patriots are inbound, the whole length of the court was 7.09. Benson is set to inbound, Helton and Durr in the front court. They'll throw it into Jackson Durr and he'll bring it up against Ryan Dupre. Durr will finally get across the timeline. Right wing, hands it off to Chappelle. Man-to-man -man defense for the Eagles here. Chappelle over to Benson, left side. He'll look to get it to Durr and does. Top of the key, right wing into the hands of Chappelle. He'll look down low to Mesger. Mesger gets it, dribbles through to the baseline, gives it up to Helton, right wing. He'll come off a high screen, back to Mesger. Mesger goes into Benson in the lane. He'll spin into the middle lane and put it up and in around Canfield. And Benson gets his first two of the night. And a 4-2 lead for Eastview. It was six and a half minutes left first quarter. 
Canfield dribbles against Chappelle in the backcourt. He'll bring it across. Left wing into the hands of Q Presley. Presley will dribble up top. Give it off to Bullion. Thinks about the three. Now he'll drive in. Kick it out to Brinkater. Left wing. He'll hold there against Mesger. Up top, Dupre. Dupre back to Brinkater. Looks to spin baseline. Turn around. 15-foot jump shot off the rim. No good. Rebounds Chappelle for the Patriots. They'll run the offense through Jackson Durr every time, and he'll bring it up the timeline. Center of the floor against Dupre. Right wing to Benson. Benson looking for the cutter. Can't get it to him now to Helton. Back up top of the key. 5.55 left here, first quarter. Durr up top into the hands of Mesger. He'll look to drive, but kick it out to Chappelle, left baseline. He'll look to drive, middle lane, kick it out. Helton, right baseline, three on the way. It's an air ball, but Chappelle backside rebound to put it up and in. For Chappelle, right place, right time. He gets his first two and a 6-2 lead for Eastview with 5.35 left first quarter. Canfield across the timeline. Kicks it ahead, but it's off the hands of Chappelle. Out of bounds into the Eastview bench. So Georgetown will have to inbound in front of the Eastview bench. A 5.28 left here in the first quarter. 6-2, to two, Eastview by four. Bullion set to inbound. He'll give it on the baseline into the hands of Presley. He'll dribble up towards the wing on Helton. Looks to drive cut off there. Skip it over to the Bullion right wing. Thanks to three. Now drives in. Now back it out. In the hands of Dupre right wing. He'll drive on Durr in the middle of the lane, around Durr and up and in for Ryan Dupre. Nice take there for Dupre, his first two. And it cuts the lead back to two, six to four. Patriots lead it with 5.05 left in the first quarter. Durr across the timeline, hands off right wing to Chappelle. He'll bring it up top, reset into the hands of Mesker, left wing. Up top, Durr. 4.55 left first quarter, six to four. Patriots by two early on as Benson has it right wing, up top Chappelle. Into the hands of Durr, left wing against Dupre. Now skip it over, right wing. Helton will fire a three, and it's up and good. Jeremy Helton makes up for the early air ball, knocks this one down, and the lead up to five now, nine to four. Canfield drives all the way in, his shot blocked out of bounds. They're going to call it off at Georgetown. It was blocked by Durr. Should be Georgetown ball. Skip pass down to Helton, right wing. He's cut off by Presley, drive baseline. Skip it out to Mesger, left baseline. Up top to Benson. That's a travel, and it'll be a turnover on the Patriots as Benson cut it and tried to take off running without a dribble. And now some substitutes into the ball game for Georgetown here with 4.23 left, first quarter. Abdul Walid will check into the ball game. Walid, the six-foot senior wing. Number 21, Cooper Christensen checks in. He's the 6'1 junior. Where's number 21? And number 33, that's the 6'3 sophomore, Jaden Cruz. As Brinkater, Canfield and Presley take a seat, or not Canfield, Bullion, and Presley take a seat. Dupre, right wing, spins on Mesger in. A finger roll, no good. Battle for the rebound. Mesger comes away with it. Skip it ahead to Helton, a two on two. And a pass there by Helton, stolen by Waleed. Ahead to Dupre across the timeline. Four minutes left, first quarter. Kick it over right wing to Waleed. Back to Dupre. He'll skip it over to Christensen up top. Cruz now to Canfield right wing. Passes on the three. Gets a, a screen. Fires away. Good. Kai Canfield knocks down his first shot of the ball game. A big three there for Kai. And the lead back to two for Eastview. Nine to seven. 3.45 left. Helton drives past Cruz, but he'll be fouled on the floor. Out towards the top. That'll be the first foul on, foul on Jaden Cruz. First team foul on the Georgetown Eagles. 3.42 left, first quarter, 9-7, to seven, Eastview by two early on. Eastview inbound on the baseline underneath their own basket. Helton to inbound. Goes deep to Mesger, but it's picked off by Dupre. Ahead to Canfield on the breakout, and Canfield will lay it in. And one, Kai Canfield, fouled by Chappelle, gets the bucket, and he'll go to the free throw line. What a play there by Canfield. Chappelle picks up his first, first team foul on the Patriots. And Kai Canfield now with five quick points in the quarter and a chance to make it six with the and one attempt. 3.36 left first quarter. Canfield to the free throw line. The free throw on the way off the back iron. No good. Rebound Jackson Durr for the Patriots. Durr will bring it up against Cooper Christensen. Goes over now to Helton. Right baseline. Fire a three and Helton hits another one. It's Second three-pointer in the ball game. Now the lead back to three, 12 to nine. 
Waleed will inbound to Canfield in the backcourt. 3.15 left, first quarter. 12 to 9, your score. Patriots lead it by three. Canfield across the timeline, right wing to uh, Cruz. Um, swing it over left side all the way to Canfield. Quick fire three, and it's good. Kai Canfield knocks down another three. And the Eagles. Tie it up at 12 apiece, and now a foul on the floor here. They're going to call that on Waleed. His first, team second foul on the Eagles. So the Patriots will inbound about midcourt on the Georgetown side of midcourt. 12 to 12, your score with 250 left here first quarter. Eastview has the ball across the timeline in the hands of Jackson Durr, right wing covered by Waleed. He'll look to drive into the lane, stop and pop, the shot blocked, but they'll call a foul on the, on the shot. They're going to call it on Jaden Cruz, his second foul. Third team foul, and that'll send Jackson Durr to the free throw line for the two shots. 2.42 left, first quarter. Jackson Durr, the lefty, fires the first free throw, and it gets the kind roll and in. For the Patriots, the sophomore guard number zero, Jaden Prelo, checks in. He'll replace... And so who so see who he replaced. I think it was Chappelle in the lineup for the Patriots. Jackson Durr back to the free throw line for a second free throw. But before that, you're going to have a sub. It's going to be a 6-3 sophomore wing. He wears number two. Marquise Dominguez checks in for Jaden Cruz with the two fouls. Durr now to the free throw line for a second free throw on the way and a good. Durr now with four points in the ball game. The Patriots with a two-point lead, 14-12. 2.35 left, first quarter. Canfield crosses the midcourt stripe. He'll kick it over to Waleed, right wing. Looks for Christensen, swings it back. Dominguez all the way to Canfield, left wing. Fakes his man, drives in, kicks it out. Dupre, right, left baseline three. Good! Ryan Dupre now with five points in the ball game. And the Eagles take the lead back. 15-14 with 2.15 left in the first quarter. Helton across the timeline, picked up by Dominguez. He'll give it off to Benson. Benson looks to drive and does, throws it up, but it's no good. And a blocking foul whistled in the lane on Kai Canfield. So Benson bailed out there as he missed the layup, but he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Canfield's first foul, team fourth foul on the Eagles. And Terry on Benson to the free throw line for the two shots. First shot from Benson on the way is nothing but net. Brinkater back into the ball game alongside Q Presley. They'll take out Canfield and Dupre with 2.09 left first quarter, tied up at 15 apiece. Benson readies for free throw number two. It's on the way, and it's no good. Rebound Dominguez for the Eagles. He'll give it off to Q Presley. Now some pressure being applied by the Patriots. Kick it ahead, Christensen left wing. He'll back it out. Loses the ball there. Now get it back to Dominguez. Dominguez over to Waleed right side. Now let's give it back to Christensen left side. Back and forth. Out tied the arc. 145 left first quarter. Tie ball game. 15 apiece between the Eagles and Patriots. Christensen has it out extended. Kicks it over to Waleed right side. He'll look to drive. Loses his dribble into the hands of Helton. And here come the Patriots. Skip it ahead to Benson. He'll go in and lay it up. But it's blocked from behind. What a hustle there by Q Presley. But the ball recovered there by Prelo. He'll give it out to Helton. Right wing three off the back iron. No good. Rebound by Q Presley for the Eagles. Coach Canfield slows the Eagles down with 120 left first quarter. Tie ball game still here as Presley crosses tie the midcourt stripe. Right wing into the hands of Waleed. Up top Presley. Left wing Christensen. He dribbles there, looking to get it to Brinkater. Can't up top while lead. Right wing Presley. He'll take a fire three on the right wing. No good. Long rebound into the hands of Helton. Here come the Patriots. Helton across the timeline to Durr. Right wing. Back to a streaking Helton. Travel, no call. His layup, no good. Rebound by Brinkater for the Eagles. 50 seconds left, first quarter. Skip it over to Waleed, left wing to Presley, left baseline. He'll fire another three off the rim. No good. Rebound by Christensen, but taken away by Benson. Skip it ahead, a two-man break for the Patriots, and Prelo will lay it in to take the lead. 17-15 with 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. Waleed in the backcourt. Now to Presley. 25 seconds left here across to Waleed, across the timeline. 
And to Brinkett at right elbow. He'll turn around. Right elbow jumper. It's hard off the iron. No good. Rebound Christensen to a cutting Brinkett or the layup. No, too strong. Battle for the rebound. And Durr comes away with it for the Patriots. 13 seconds remaining. Durr will bring it across the timeline. With ten, eight seconds on the clock, give it off to Prelo. Prelo out extended right wing, up top Helton. Three seconds remaining. Helton holds it. Left wing Mesger. He's going to have to fire an NBA three, but it's off the iron. No good. And the first half, the first quarter comes to an end. After one complete session, 17 15, Patriots lead it by two. Timeout. Back with more Eagle basketball in just a moment. here for quarter number two. 17-15, Eastview leads it by two. Canfield gets the inbound pass to start quarter number two. Drives past Prelo, picks up his dribble, left elbow. He'll give it over to Brinkater, left baseline. Big man fires the three, good! Logan Brinkater knocks down a big three there in the quarter. And the Eagles take the lead back, 18-17. Quickly ahead, fire a three from the corner by Prelo. It's no good, but Mesger gets the backside rebound. And Mazger will lay it in for his first two points of the ball game. And the Patriots take the lead back 19-18 with 7.25 left in the first half. Canfield left side, looks to drive on Prelo and does. Kicks it into Brinkater, but it's stolen away. Brinkater gets it back. Back to Canfield, right baseline, drives in, loses it, gets it back. Out to Dominguez, right baseline. Eurostep, he's knocked to the ground. How do you call a foul? How about a, oh, he calls a traveling violation there on Marquise Dominguez. Looked like he got pushed as he went to the floor. So a turnover on Georgetown. 7-10 left here, first half. 19-18, Eastview by one. Jackson Durr walks it up. Canfield, Dominguez, Dupre, Brinkater, and Canfield on the floor. Here to start the second quarter for the Eagles. Helton has it right wing against Dominguez. He'll give it up top to Terrion Benson. Skip it back to Helton, right baseline three. Fired in and out, no good. Rebound by Ryan Dupre for the Eagles. Kicks it ahead to Canfield. Canfield will catch it at the midcourt stripe, but Durr jumped in front of him. And they say he took a step before he put the dribble on the ground. And the Eagles turn it right back over to the Patriots. 6.49 left, first half, 19-18, Patriots by one. Durr gets the inbound pass in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. Picks up Ryan Dupre, who goes left wing to Benson. He holds there against Bullion, who's back in the ball game for Dominguez. Or not for Dominguez. We'll get who he got it, what came in for. Mesker baseline, kicks it into Benson, middle of the lane, and he'll lay it up and in. Bullion lost him in the lane. Benson now with five points in the ball game. Moves the lead up to three for the Patriots. Brinkater left wing into the hands of Dominguez. Up top, Bullion. He'll take a quick three. It's fired off. It's an air ball, and it's out of bounds by the Eagles. Ball back over to the Patriots with 6-14 left here in the second quarter. 21-18, Eastview leads it by three. Jackson Durr, he'll bring it across the timeline. Dribbles towards a double team. Now kicks it to Benson. Out to do, uh, I went blank. I apologize. Number zero. <laughs> Prelo knocks down the corner three. He now has five points in the ball game. And the lead up to six now for the Patriots, 24-18. Down to Brinkater, right block. Kick it out to Dupre, left baseline. Fire the three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound Helton. He'll kick it ahead to Prelo, who broke away, and Prelo will lay it up and in. Coach Canfield in the air, the official at half court. The lead up to eight now. Canfield splits the defender, and that'll be a foul on Benson. The reaching foul there, his first, only the second team foul. Prelo now with seven points in the ball game. 
has the lead, the largest of the night for the Patriots, 26-18. They lead by eight, 5.33 left first half. Bullion inbounds into the backcourt, into the hands of Canfield. He'll bring it across the timeline. Picked up by Prelo, right wing to Dominguez. Dominguez dribbles there, dribbles up top, gives it off to Bullion. Left wing, Canfield, fakes the three, drives in. He's dumps it off to Dominguez. He drives in, dumps it low, but it's not free by Mesger into the hands of Durr. And here come the Patriots. Durr across the timeline. He'll pick up his dribble, skip it over to Helton, left baseline, drives in, dumps it into Mesger, middle of the lane. His shot up and in. Mesger with four points here in the second court. And a 10-point lead now for Eastview, 28-18. Five minutes left first half. Canfield, right wing. To Bullion. Now up top, Dominguez. Back to Dupre, left wing. Durr on him. Dupre will drive around him. How that isn't a foul, I'm not sure. And now another turnover to call Canfield for traveling. And now some substitutions for the Eagles. Q Presley and Jaden Cruz will check in for Bullion and Dominguez. 4.47 left first half, 10-point lead now for Eastview. They've gone on a run here to open up the second quarter. An 11-3 run here in quarter number two for the Patriots. Helton dribbles down to the right wing, covered tightly by Presley. Up top to Durr, left wing to Prelo. He'll go into Mesker, left block. He holds there against Brinkater, dumps it out into the hands of Benson. Benson looks to dribble drive on Jaden Cruz. But they'll call a foul on the floor, and it's going to be on Jaden Cruz. That's his third personal foul. So as quick as he's back in the ball game, it'll be as quick as he will leave. Fifth team foul on Georgetown. So the Patriots will inbound on their baseline underneath their own goal. And here comes Cooper Christensen into the ball game for Jaden Cruz. 4.23 left first half. Helton looks to inbound, does deep into the hands of Mesger. He'll give it off to Jackson Durr, who will bring it up top and reset the offense. For the Patriots, right wing to Helton. He'll drive all the way in, throw it up, contested, get the bucket and one. That'll be on Cooper Christensen. Didn't move the feet, reached in, got called for the foul. That's the 16th foul on the Eagles. And count the bucket and, and one opportunity here for Helton. He now has eight points in the, the ball game. Lead up to 12 for the Patriots. Helton at the line. All the rest of the Patriots drop back. The free throw from Helton. He gets the kind roll, and it drops. And now Coach McDormand will take a timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout with 4.13 left here in the first half. And we'll take it with them. Quick timeout. Back with more Eagle basketball on SHN in just a moment. Back out of the timeout, 4-13 left, first half. Georgetown trails by 13, largest deficit of the night, 31-18. Canfield across into the hands of Dupre on the left side. Back to Canfield, right wing. He'll go to Cooper Christensen, top of the key, into the hands of Presley, left wing. Looks for a cutter, skips it over to Christensen, right wing. He'll drive into the free throw lane, kick it back to Presley, fakes his man, drives in right elbow, picks up his dribble, cutting Dupre, will get it in from the right side, and finally a foul call there as Mesger pushed off. Dupre couldn't get the bucket to go, but he'll go to the free throw line as Mesger picks up his first. Just the third team foul on the Patriots. But that'll send Ryan Dupre to the free throw line for two shots. Dupre ready, fires away, the free throw good. Dupre now with six points in the ball game. 31-19, your score, 3.47 left here in the first half. Dupre readies for free throw number two, and this one is good as well. 31-20, Patriots by 11. Helton will bring it up across the timeline for the Patriots, center of the floor, kick it over to Durr, left side. Durr back to Helton, playing catch outside the three-point line, left and right sides there. Midway between the top of the key and midcourt. Durr has it covered by Presley. 
Now into the hands of Prelo, back to Durr, skip it around, Helton right wing, back to Durr. Eagles in his own defense. The Patriots just wasting time here at 3.15 left in the half. Durr up top. Goes down low for Mesker. Ball tipped away. Gets it and puts it up in reverse underneath the basket. And Mesger gets it to go. He got behind Christensen again. And now with six points in the ball game. Presley in the corner. Ball knocked away from him. Eagles will get it back. Something in the game for the Patriots. Number three, Tyron Chappelle. Chappelle back into the ball game. He'll replace Prelo. Cooper Christensen inbounds to Presley. He'll drive in, kicks it off to Dupre, right wing. Derp covers him into Brinkater. Brinkater looks to spin, middle lane does. Fade away jumper, up and good. Logan Brinkater over Mesger. Now with seven points in the ball game. Lead cut back to 11 now, 33-22 as Durr walks it across the timeline with two and a half minutes left first half. Right wing into the hands of Helton, back up top to Durr. He'll play catch with Helton. On the right side, now push Helton through. Give it off, right baseline, Helton, quick fire three, good. Can't leave him open. Christensen didn't get out in time. And Helton now, 12 points in the ball game. And the lead extended up to 14 now, 36-22. Dupre has it, right wing to Canfield. Looking down low for Brinkater. Now Canfield will drive baseline. He's pushed, kicks it out. Dupre left wing, fires a three, high arcing. It's no good. Durr streaks out ahead, and Durr will lay it, dunk it down. And now Durr gets a technical foul, and he had deserved it exactly they, what they don't want in high school basketball. And then Durr looks to Coach McDormand like he had no clue what's going on. He pointed at Canfield and then did the old the head tap, and that got Durr a technical foul. And that's a big one there because Durr can't afford many more of that. This man makes that team go. Jackson Durr, a great basketball player, and you had to see that here, but that's his – that's the heated rivalry here between the two teams. So give Durr the two points on the dunk. He now has six in the ball game. But Kai Canfield down to shoot the free throws. So it'll be a personal foul and a technical foul. Canfield misses the first free throw of the two technical free throws. And now Canfield back to the line, 145 left. Second free throw from Canfield off the back iron, no good. So now the Eagles get the ball at midcourt to inbound. Christensen will inbound into the backcourt, into the hands of Kai Canfield. Canfield will bring it across the timeline against Chappelle. Gives it off to Dupre, back to Canfield right wing. He'll go over to Christensen left wing into the hands of Presley. He'll quick fire a three. It's up. Off no good. Canfield backside rebound. Good position there. He'll back it out. Fire a baseline three. No good. Long rebound to Christensen. Eagles keep the possession with 120 left here in the quarter. Dupre left corner three. It's off. No good. Brinkater gets the rebound. He'll bring it out and reset it. Goes up top to Canfield. Scoop it over. Christensen left wing. He'll give it up top to Dupre. Now to Canfield. Right wing to Brinkater. Fakes the three on Mesger. He'll drive in. And in the middle of the lane, a blocking foul there. That's a big one. Jackson Durr picks up his second personal foul. And that'll send the Eagles the ball on the baseline. They'll call it on the floor. And that's a big foul on Jackson Durr. That's their fifth team foul now. And that'll bring a substitution into the ball game. And Jackson Durr will come out with a minute left in the second quarter. Into the ball game comes senior Braden Gates. He wears number 10. They'll replace Jackson Durr. Eagles inbound on the baseline. Christensen to inbound. Throws it deep into the hands of Ryan Dupre, covered by Gates. Off of his screen. Dupre has it top of the key against Mesger. Drives in. A runner up. No good. Blocked there by Mesger. Gates will save it inbounds to Terion Benson. Benson pushes it ahead. Splits defenders. Drops it down low to Chappelle. He'll go up, and he'll be fouled there. The shot doesn't go, but he'll go to the free throw line, and that'll be on Kai Canfield. That'll be his second personal foul. Seventh team foul on the Eagles. And Terry on, or Chappelle to the free throw line for the first time of the ball game. He has two shots coming here with 52 seconds left in the half. First free throw from Chappelle is good. 39-22, Patriots lead it by 17. 
Chappelle readies for free throw number two. A spin, a dribble, a spin, and fires away. And short. And gets the kind roll up the front of the rim. He now has four points in the ball game. And the Patriot lead up to 18. 40 to 22. Canfield across the timeline. Right wing into the hands of Presley. Turns there, gets a high screen, dribbles off it, gets it down low to Brinkater. He'll lay it up and in as he got around Benson. Brinkater knocks down another bucket. The Patriots across the timeline, 30 seconds left in the half. Benson air balls a pass, air mails it out of the corner over there as he threw it over the head of Gates. And the Eagles will get it back with 28 seconds left, and they're down 16, 40 to 24. Brinkater looks to inbound, and he gets it to Dupre. Back to Brinkater, and he'll bring it up as Mesger backs off across the timeline. Right wing to Presley. 20 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Presley will take a deep right wing three. In and out, no good. Rebound Chappelle. Chappelle will bring it up with 12 seconds left as he crosses midcourt. It'll be 10 seconds in the half. Chappelle kicks it back to Benson right side. Into the hands of Gates, right baseline. He'll dribble up towards the top to Chappelle. Three seconds left into Mesger in the lane. He'll spin. The runner up off the glass and good as Mesger goes left-handed. Lays it up and in. And Mesger with eight big points there in the second half, second quarter. And the Patriots take an 18 point lead into the half, 42 to 24. After the first half, we'll take a break. Be back with information, stats, and the start of the second half. You're listening to Georgetown Eagle Basketball on SHN.
Back here live at Eastview High School. We're at the halftime. Eastview leads Georgetown 42 to 24. Scoring for the Eastview Patriots at the half. Four points for Chappelle, five points for Terion Benson, six points for Jackson Durr, seven for Prelo, eight for Mesger, and 12 for Jeremy Helton. For your Eagles, not much to talk about scoring wise, only three players in the scoring column. Seven points for Ryan Dupre, eight points for Kai Canfield, and nine points for Logan Brinkater. Foul trouble? Watch Jaden Cruz. He has three fouls in the first half. Jackson Durr with two and a technical foul. And so Coach McDormand will watch Jackson Durr uh, to make sure he doesn't get any foul trouble. Jackson Durr, a great basketball player, with a senior on one of the seniors here on Eastview. Fun to watch that young man play basketball. And just got uh, teed up for uh, after the dunk, pointing out the, the dunk to the player he dunked on and, and then patting his head. And so he got uh, technical. To, and, and you saw that happens. Uh, they want that out of the taunting, out of any of the sports, especially in high school. And so that was quickly handled. And uh, here we are to start the second half. 
Eastview will have the ball with an 18-point lead to start the second half. But first, we have to get the officials out here. <laughs> they haven't showed back up. And here they come out of the hallway to start the second half. On the floor to start quarter number three for the Eagles will be the starting five. Presley, Bullion, Canfield, Dupre, and Brinkater. And for the Eastview Patriots, the same starting five as well. Helton, Chappelle, Benson, Durr, and Mesger. So the Patriots are inbound. Benson into Durr in the backcourt. And the Patriots have the ball. Dupre will pick him up. Man-to-man -man defense for the Eagles has started out. Durr across the timeline. Looks to drive. Stops at the top of the key. Kicks it out to Benson. Bullion will cover him. Down to Chappelle. Back up top to Durr. A lot of screening going on around to Benson, left wing, covered by Bullion. Looks to drive, skips it over to Helton, right baseline, covered by Presley. Tries to drive the baseline. Now he's doubled up in the corner, tries to go up top. It's off Chappelle and tracked down in front of the scorer's table by Durr. It's tipped out of bounds. They're going to call it out on Brinkater. Good hands there on defense by Brinkater, trying to knock it out off of Durr. But they give the Patriots the ball back. Durr will inbound by the scorer's clock on the far sideline. He'll get it into Mesger. Right back to Dirt with seven and a half minutes, third quarter. Down to Metzger, left uh, wing. He'll hand it off to Durr. Dupre picks him up. Goes to Metzger, middle of the lane. He loses it. There we go. No basket as he called for a travel. He couldn't handle it cleanly. Took a few too many steps. The ball turned over by the Patriots, and Georgetown will get it back with 7.21 left third quarter. Dupre will inbound to Presley, and he'll bring it across the timeline. 7.15 left, third quarter, up top to Dupre. Left wing into the hands of Bullion. No one picks him up, drives baseline. He'll go all the way in, kick it out to Dupre. He's cutting in the middle lane. He'll go up in the right block. Can't get it to go off the backboard and off the rim. Durr with the rebound. And here come the Patriots with 7.02 left in the third quarter. Benson looks to drive, but the ball knocked out. It's off of Benson, out of bounds. Turnover right back over to Georgetown. Well, 6.58 left on the third quarter clock. Patriots outscored in quarter number two, 25-9. And where we got our separation at the end of one, it was only a two-point lead for the Patriots, 17-15. to 15. And at one point, the Eagles took a lead, but the Patriots went on the big run. Brinkater gets it right block, drives in, kick it out to Canfield. He'll give it off to Bullion, left wing. He'll fire a three. It's off the back iron. Long rebound by Presley, right side. Ball knocked free. He falls on the ground, gets it, gives it off to Dupre. Dupre, skip pass over to Canfield. Canfield will drive the baseline, give it off to Brinkater. He's doubled up and taken away from him by Durr. Here comes Durr ahead on Bullion. He'll go around Bullion and try to put it up. And they'll call the foul on Landry Bullion. It'll be a shooting foul. So Durr back to the free throw line. Bullion, his first personal foul, first team foul on the Eagles here in the second half. 6.26 left. Jackson Dirt two for two from the free throw line in the ball game. In the first half, the Patriots six for seven from the free throw line. The lefty Durr fires away, nothing but net on this free throw. Now with seven points in the ball game. Forty-three, twenty-four. Chance to make it twenty if Durr can make this, and he does. Forty-four to twenty-four. Patriots by twenty. Six twenty left here in the third quarter. Canfield will bring it across the timeline to Dupre, and there's a foul there on Jackson Durr. He tried to close it down and make a steal. And he pushed Dupre into the backcourt, so that'll be Jackson Durr's third personal foul, and that's where that technical comes back to haunt him. As now he has three personal fouls alongside that technical foul. In, inbound to Kai Canfield across the timeline, right wing into the hands of Presley. Up top into the hands of Bullion. Bullion drives in, kick it out to Dupre, left wing, quick fire three, good! Ryan Dupre now with 10 points in the ball game. 44-27, Mesger across the timeline. He'll give it back to Durr, back to Mesger. He'll skip it over to Chappelle on the right baseline. He'll drive in, throw it away into the hands of Ryan Dupre. And here come the Eagles. Dupre will skip it over to Presley across the timeline. Presley drives all the way in and lays it up and in. The, the C's parted there for Q Presley, his first two points of the ball game. And the Eagles cut it back to 15. And a nice play there at midcourt by Logan Brinkater. As Mesker got it and turned quickly. Brinkater knocked it out of bounds, and so the Patriots will have to inbound back at midcourt. Durr to throw it in. He'll give it in to Terrion Benson. Five and a half minutes left, third quarter, 44-29. Benson drives in, down low to Mesker. He'll go up, shot right around Brinkater. Good contested shot there by Brinkater, but Mesker gets it for his 10th point of the ballgame. 
And 46-29 now the lead for the Patriots. Q Presley has it right wing. Looks to drive, gives it off to Bullion. Into the hands of Dupre. He'll drive left baseline. He's cut off, gives it off to Bullion, cutting by. But Jackson Durr with the block. And Durr's got to be careful. He quickly turned around like he was going to say something. <laughs> Kept his hands down. 5.08 left here in the third quarter. Eagles will inbound underneath their own basket. Bullion to inbound. Goes high, but Durr tips it back to Bullion. Brinkater, top of the key, straight on three. Off the iron, no good. Benson with the rebound. Four on four. Benson pushes it all the way up, kicks it out to Chappelle, left baseline three, off the iron, no good. Long rebound, Helton comes away with it. He'll give it up top to Mesker, back to Helton. He'll fire a quick three from the corner. It's off, no good. Rebound tip free. Chappelle will track it down in the corner, drive baseline. Tries to give it low to Helton, cutting. He does. Helton shot blocked, but they'll call a foul there. And that'll be on Q Presley. That'll send Helton back to the free throw line. And Q Presley. Picks up his first personal foul, second team foul on the Eagles. Helton one for one from the free throw line. Goes for two shots here. Helton's first free throw on the way is good. Helton out with 13 points in the ballgame. Jaden Cruz and Abdul Walid coming to the ballgame, replacing Bullion and Brinkater. 47-29, 18-point lead for the Patriots as Helton gets ready for his second free throw. On the way, good as well. Elton now with 14 points in the ballgame to lead all scores. And the lead back to 19 for the Patriots. 4.35 left, third quarter. Dupre into the hands of Presley. On the left wing, up top while lead. He'll go to Canfield, right wing. Over to Jaden Cruz, left wing. Fakes, drives in, now kicks it out to Dupre, right wing. He fakes his men there, drives all the way in the lane. Up and around Mesger and lays it in from the left side. Ryan Dupre now with five in the quarter, 12 in the ballgame. 48-31, 17-point lead for the Patriots. Skip pass ahead to Benson, to Mesger, top of the key. Back to Benson, he'll drive in the lane and lay it up and in. Benson got past the man, and one of the Eagles fell down. Benson now with seven points in the ball game, and the lead back up to 19. Still in the quarter by Benson, he'll skip it ahead to Helton. And Bill Helton will lay it up and in. Elton now with four in the quarter, 16 of the ball game. The lead back to 21 now, 52-31. Dupre left wing against Benson, drives down the lane. And now a blocking foul there. It's going to be on Jackson Durr, and that's a huge foul. They left him in the ball game, and that'll be Jackson Durr's fourth personal foul. The blocking foul there, and that's a big one. Jackson Durr picks up the fourth foul. So here comes Gates back in the ball game, and Durr will take a seat. 3.39 left third quarter, and Jackson Durr leaves the ball game. With his fourth foul, inbound deep to Presley for the Eagles. 3.35 left third quarter, right wing to Dupre. Dupre looking for the cutter, ball tip free by Benson, and here goes Benson ahead of the crowd, and he'll dunk it in. Terry on Benson. Now with nine points in the ball game, and the lead up to 23 for the Patriots. Presley drives baseline, skips it over to Waleed on the right corner. Up to Canfield, skip it to Jaden Cruz, left wing. He'll quick fire a three. It's in, Jaden Cruz with his first points of the ball game. A big three there. Try to help quiet the crowd. And the score back to a 20-point deficit. And now a timeout here by Coach McDorman. 3.02 left here in the third quarter. Coach McDorman will take a timeout. We'll see if it's a full or 30-second. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 3.02 left third quarter, 54-34. Patriots by 20. More Eagle basketball in a moment.
back out of the timeout. Three minutes, two seconds left here in the third quarter. Eagles find themselves down by 20, 54-34. Helton across the timeline. Skip pass over to the other side. Dupre read that one and steals it for the Eagles. He's across the timeline. Spins away from trouble. Kicks it off to Waleed. Right baseline three. It's off the iron. No good. Jaden Cruz gets the rebound. Pump fake. <laughs> he goes up. How is that not a foul on Mesger? He hacked him from behind on top of the head. <laughs> Even Mesger hurt his arm. So it goes out of bounds, and Georgetown will get the ball back. And now Coach Canfield will call a timeout real quick in response. 2.46 left third quarter. Quick timeout. Back with more Eagle basketball in a moment on SHN. Eagles will inbound it with 2.46 left third quarter. Wall lead on the baseline. Gets it to Canfield left corner. He's covered there by Chappelle. Looks to drive baseline. And a blocking foul there on Chappelle. That will be Chappelle's second personal foul. Team third foul on the Patriots. The Eagles will inbound on the baseline. Wall lead to inbound again for the Eagles. Screens run there. He'll get it into Dupre. He'll stop and pop a 12-footer. Off no good. Rebound. Gates tips it to Benson. Into Mesger. And here come the Patriots. Gates has it. He'll go right side to Helton, but it's off his hands. Too hard to handle. And a turnover on the Patriots. Substitution for the Eagles. Logan Brinkater and Cooper Christensen will come back in for Presley and Dupre. 2.34 left here, third quarter. Brinkator will get the inbound, gives it back to Waleed. He'll bring it across the timeline with two and a half minutes left, third quarter, trailing 20. Over to Canfield, right wing. He looks to push through and does, kicks it over to Cruz. Cruz to Waleed, swing it around. Christensen, left wing, he'll fire a three. Good! Cooper Christensen knocks down his first bucket of the ball game. A three-pointer there for Cooper in the lead, down to 17. 54-37 with 2.10 left, third quarter. Benson ahead to Chappelle across the timeline. Right wing, cut off by Waleed. Double team there, ball free, and Waleed gets the steal. He'll give it ahead to Jaden Cruz, and Cruz will slam it down. A dunk of his own, Jaden Cruz. Now with five points of the ball game, all here in the third quarter, and the Eagles get the lead down to 15. 54-39. Left side, Gates has it. Left wing, he'll drive in, kick it out to Helton. They baseline, fakes a man in there. He'll fire the three, and Helton responds with a three. And the lead quickly back up to 18, 57, 39. 135 left, third quarter. Canfield across the timeline, but picked by Chappelle. And Chappelle will go and lay it in on the steal, on the reach in there. Gets the steal, now has six points in the ballgame, does Chappelle. And the lead right back to 20 points, 59, 39. Canfield will get across the timeline here. Chappelle all over his back, ball knocked free, and a turnover on the Eagles. Kick it ahead, Gates on the left side. He'll go down low to Benson. Benson tries to dunk it, and he's blocked. Brinkater blocks it, but they're going to call the body foul there on Logan Brinkater. Benson was not going to get that dunk free of charge. Brinkater will pick up his first personal foul. That'll be the third team foul on the Eagles. Benson will go to the free throw line for the first time in the second half for two shots. Benson one for two from the free throw line in the ball game. First free throw from Benson on the way is good. Q Presley checks back in for Kai Canfield. One minute, 11 seconds left, third quarter. Benson's second free throw, good as well. He now has 11 points in the ball game, and they'll lead up to 22 again, 61 to 39. Presley into Brinkater, over to Christensen, left wing. He'll slow down there, kick it back up top to Presley. One minute left in the third quarter. Christensen left baseline, fires a three off the rim, no good. Brinkater tips it free, but into the hands of Chappelle, who tracks it down. Gives it off to Benson, and the Patriots will have it with a 22-point lead. And 45 seconds left here in the third quarter as they cross the midcourt line, but good job there defensively for Waleed. He gets a steal, kick it ahead, and that's a bucket for Q Presley. Good ball moving off that steal. Presley now with four points in the ball game. Gets the lead back to 20. 35 seconds remaining. Jaden Cruz with this steal, and he has the breakaway, and he'll dunk it down again. Jaden Cruz, a big steal there. Now pressure wanting to be applied. Mesker has the ball. 
Cruz now with seven points and a half. Ahead to Helton. He'll lay it up, reverse layup. It's no good, and Helton to the floor. But he'll go back to the free throw line. We'll see who they call the foul on there. Bucket's good. I didn't see it go in the bucket. Presley gets the foul called. That's his second, team fourth. They gave Helton the basket and a chance to get the old-fashioned three-point play. Free throw on the way for Helton is good. No, they didn't count it. Okay. I was going to say, he didn't make it. So the basket isn't good. They're going to have to figure that out. They have the points on the board. Helton now with his second free throw. On the way, it's a no good. And Brinkater will chase the rebound down. So the score should actually be 62-43. Ten seconds remaining as Presley crosses the timeline, and they've corrected it now on the board. Presley against Chappelle, shakes him, spins off of that into the middle of the lane. Now the three seconds left, loses it. Presley has to get rid of it, does to Christensen. But the clock comes to an end. Canfield talking to the official, trying to get a call here. But that's how the third quarter comes to an end. 62-43, Patriots lead it by 19. After three complete quarters, take a timeout. Back with more Eagle basketball in a moment on SHN. to the fourth quarter. The Eagles find themselves down 19 as we start quarter number four, 62 to 43. Right wing, Waleed has it there. Off to Presley, up top to Jaden Cruz. Looks for Christensen. Now Cruz looks to drive, and Helton called for the baseline block there. He keeps moving his feet, but yet moving him right in front of Cruz. Called for the block. That'll be his first personal foul, fourth team foul on the Patriots. Cruz inbound on the near sideline, does to Waleed. Waleed, Christensen, Brinkater, Presley, and Cruz on the floor for the Eagles. Waleed's pass picked off by Durr, who checked back in. His shot blocked, but they'll call the foul there on Waleed. That'll send Jackson Durr to the free throw line. Waleed second personal, five team fouls on the Eagles. Jackson Durr with eight points in the ball game will go to the line to shoot two free throws. He came back in the start of the fourth quarter. With the four fouls, we'll see how he does now. First free throw from Durr, good. He is now five for five from the free throw line. Ryan Dupre in for Waleed for the Eagles. Chappelle, Benson, Mesger, Helton, and Durr on the floor for the Patriots. Durr's second free throw, good as well. Now with 10 points in the ball game. Left wing, Jason Jaden Cruz fakes the three. Looks to drive on Durr. He'll go up top to Presley. Right wing into the hands of Christensen. Off a screen, goes baseline. Back up to Dupre. Up top to Brinkater. Back to Dupre, right wing. No one covers him. Three ball on the way. Good! Ryan Dupre knocks down a three. He now has 15 in the ball game. And the Eagles trail it by 18. 64-46. Ahead, Helton skips it over to Chappelle. Down low, he'll lay it up and in on the reverse layup to get around Brinkater. Chappelle now with eight points in the ball game. And the lead back up to 20. Jaden Cruz drives in. Now that wasn't whistled a foul. He went up and around a player. Coach Canfield can't believe it. And now the Patriots get it back off the turnover. 66-46, Patriots by 20. 6.50 left here in the ball game. Kick it ahead to Benson, left wing. 
He'll look to drive, kicks it into Metzger, middle of the lane, out to Chappelle. He'll drive the middle of the lane, go down low to Benson. No charge call there, kick it out to Helton, right wing three, no good. And Presley goes for the rebound. They'll call the foul now on Benson. Over the back there, good block out by Q Presley. And that'll be Benson's second foul, 15 foul on the Patriots. 6.39 left in the ball game. Eagles down 20, 66-46. Presley has it. He'll bring it across the timeline. Give it off to Brinkader. Left side down to Christensen left baseline. He'll dribble towards the wing into Dupre at the left elbow. Back out to Christensen. He'll go up top to Presley. Reset the offense. He'll pull Christensen up left wing. Give it off to him. Now up top Presley. Presley looks there. Back to Christensen left wing. He'll quick fire a three off the iron. No good. Long rebound. Benson. Here come the Patriot. Benson drives all the way to the left side. Goes up and around Presley and lays it up and in. Benson now with 13 points in the ball game. And the Eagles down 22. Presley to a cutting Dupre. Left-handed layup. Can't get it to go off the rim. And Mesger gets the rebound. 5.55 left in the ball game. Dupre a couple of layups tonight. Just rimming off. Jackson Durr drives in. Kick it out to Helton. Right baseline three. Good. Jeremy Helton talking to the crowd. Now has 23 in the ball game. 71-46, 25 point lead. Foul, foul on Chappelle, a blocking foul in the backcourt as they were putting pressure on. 16 foul on the Patriots. 541 left here in the ball game. Canfield in for the pa Eagles. Prelo in for the Patriots. Chappelle takes a seat and Christensen takes a seat for the Eagles. Largest lead of the ball game for the Patriots. 25 points, 71 to 46. Canfield ahead to Presley, right wing, deep three on the way, long into the hands of Helton, and the Patriots will bring it down. Gives it off to Benson across the timeline into the hands of Mesger, hands it off to Helton, goes baseline, skip it over, Prelo, left baseline three, good. Prelo now with 10 points in the ball game. And the lead extended up to 28. Brinkator left wing, up top to Dupre, fakes the three. He'll drive into the right block, kick it out to Cruz, left baseline. He'll fire the three. It's no good. Rebound by Presley. He'll go up. He can't get the shot to go, but he'll draw the foul. He'll probably, it looks like Benson on that one. They'll give that one to Terry on Benson, his third, 17 foul. And that'll send Q Presley to the free throw line for two shots. Patriot, or Eagles, two for five in the first half from the free throw line. First time in the second half, Presley knocks down free throw number one. He now has five points in the ball game. Gates checks in for Benson for the Patriots. It's on the floor for the Patriots. Prelo, Helton, Mesger, Durr, and Gates. For your Eagles, Canfield, Presley, Cruz, Dupre, and Brinkater. Q Presley gets ready for his second free throw. It is on the way. Off the back iron, no good. A rebound by Helton. He'll give it off to Durr, and the Patriots will have the ball with five minutes left in the ball game and a 27-point lead into Mesker. Back out to Durr. Eagles will move into that man-to-man, -man, give it down to Gates on the left wing. He'll be doubled up, gives it to Durr, down low Mesker on the baseline. He'll pass it back up top to Gates. Gates will drive in, goes down low to Prelo, skip it over to Mesker. He'll drive in the lane, put it up. No good. Prelo with the rebound. He'll try to kick it out. He does to Gates. Gates goes up. Double pumps a shot. It's no good. And Brinkater gets the rebound for Georgetown. 4.30 left here in the first or the ball game. Brinkater, top of the key, looks to drive on Mesker. Middle of the lane. Spins, kicks it out to Canfield. Canfield will drive back to Brinkater, left wing. He'll drive in the middle of the lane. A running jumper up and good. Count it and one. Mesger whistled for the pushing foul. Nice take there by Brinkater. His first bucket of the second half now with 11 points in the ball game. That'll be Mesger's second personal foul, eighth team foul. And a timeout called here on the floor. We'll take it with them. 4.23 left in the ballgame. A full timeout on the floor. Patriots lead the Eagles 74-49. More basketball in a moment on SHN.
423 left in the ball game, 74-49. Eastview leads it over Georgetown. Brinkater the free throw line. And knocks down the free throw for the old-fashioned three-point play. Brinkater now with 12 points in the ball game. Durr drives all the way down the lane, dumps it down to Metzger. He'll go up on the left side, lays it up, no good. Rebound tipped out to Dupre, ahead to Jaden Cruz. And Jaden Cruz will go up. He tries to dunk it. No foul called. And then Presley goes up, and there is a foul on Mesger. Surprised he didn't get teed up as he took it through the ball down the other end court, but Prelo may have saved him. Oh, they're going to call it on Gates. That was looked like it was on Mesger. That'll be Gates' first personal foul. 19 foul on the Patriots. That'll send Q Presley to the free throw line. He's one for two on the ball game. Two free throws coming here. Presley's first free throw on the way. Off the iron, no good. It looked like Jaden Cruz got fouled on the dunk attempt. No foul called. Q got it back, goes up between two defenders and got fouled by Gates. 4.09 left in the ball game, down 24. And the second free throw, not good as well for Presley. Mesger with the rebound, gives it off to Helton. He'll bring it across the timeline, gives it off to Mesger, right wing to a cutting Durr, middle of the lane, and he'll lay it up and in as he got past the defense. Durr lays it in now with 12 points in the ball game. 76 to 50, 26 point lead. Brinkader left wing, he'll fire the three. It's hard, long, no good. And then a rebound by Prelo, and he'll be fouled on a reach in there by Canfield. That's Kai's third personal foul. Just the sixth team foul, so the Patriots have to inbound on the Eagle end of the floor. 3.45 left here in the ballgame. 26 point lead for the Patriots on the pace to finally get their first win over to Georgetown. In 21 attempts, Dirt across the timeline, right wing to Helton, right baseline, Prelo, back up top to Mesger. 3.35 left here in the ballgame. Dirt double team, skip it over left side to Gates. He'll back it out near midcourt. Dupre covers him, loses his dribble, have to get rid of it, and does to Prelo. Prelo back to Gates. Gates holds it there, kicks it over to Dur on the right side. Into Mesger at the free throw line, kick it out to Gates, left wing. He'll back it out, slow things down. Back to Dirt right side. 3-10 left in the ballgame. Patriots playing keep away. Now Gates drives in. Ball stripped away from him. And here comes Jaden Cruz and the Eagles. Cruz all the way down, but he loses it, slows it back down. Ball slapped free, and there's the foul on Mesger on the reach-in. That'll be Mesger's third personal foul. Tenth team foul, so that'll send Jaden Cruz to the free throw line for two shots. Jaden Cruz with seven points in the ballgame. His first trip to the free throw line with 3.01 left here in the ballgame. Down 26 points to the Patriots. Cruz readies for his first free throw. It's on the way in. Good. Substitution into the ballgame. Chappelle and Benson check back in, replacing Prelo and Gates for the Patriots. Jaden Cruz readies for his second free throw. Short off the front iron. Rebound Benson for the Patriots. Three minutes left in the ballgame. Benson and Helton play catch in the backcourt. Skip it ahead. Canfield picks off the long pass. He'll kick it ahead to Presley on the left wing. He's wide open. Fires a three. It's a long. No good. But Jaden Cruz on the backside. Tried to get a rebound. Foul. No call. Skips it ahead. Prelo Chappelle will give it off to Helton, and he'll be fouled there by Canfield. The basket no good, but that'll send Helton to the free throw line. That'll be Canfield's fourth, team, fourth personal foul. And now that'll send Helton back to the free throw line. He's got 23 points in the ball game. Chance to make it 25 if he can knock down both free throws. So far, five for five or four for five in the ball game from the free throw line is Helton. 2:43 left in the ball game. 25 point lead for Eastview. The first free throw from Helton is good. Patriots never send anybody down on the free throw lane. So Helton readies by himself, fires away, and knocks this one down as well. Now with 25 in the ball game for Helton. The Patriots up by 26, 77-51. Dupre across the timeline, left wing, looks to drive all the way in, lays it up. Benson whistled for the foul. Dupre falls hard to the floor. Brinkater tries to help him up. Dupre landed on his elbow. That'll be Benson's fourth personal foul. Ryan Dupre will go to the free throw line for two free throws. He's two for two in the ball game. Dupre with 15 points so far here on the night. 2.37 left in the ball game. 
with the win, Eastfield will move to 21 and 7 on the year, 5 and 1 in district play. Dupre's free throw in and out, no good. Gates will check back in. And he'll replace Terion Benson for the Patriots. The Eagles will fall to 16 and 10 on the year, 3 and 3 in district play, 500 on district play. And they'll host Bastrop. The Bears come in on Friday night from Georgetown High School. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Presley crashes into the lane, gets it, gives it off to Cruz baseline. Cruz will drive the baseline, go up hard, can't get the kind roll. So he went around Helton. And it Mesger gets the rebound for the Patriots. Pass across. Brinkater went for it. Patriots kick it ahead. Give it off to Helton, left baseline three. It's up and in. Helton, 28 points on the ball game. 81-51, 30-point lead now for the Patriots. Dupre drives around Mesger, gets the bucket and the foul. Mesger picks up his fourth personal foul. Dupre with the two and a chance to make it a three-point play here. 81-53, 28-point lead for Eastview with 2.06 left in the ball game. Ryan Dupre ready, free throw good this time. 27 point lead for the Patriots, 81 to 54. Helton has it left wing to a cutting Gates. He'll drive all the way in, lay it up over Canfield, in and good. And that'll be Gates' first points of the ball game. Eagles quickly back down. Presley drives the baseline, goes up contested by D Durr. No call, it gets the ball back. Gates will drive all the way down, tries to dunk it. It's no good, but Chappelle gets the rebound, drops it back down low to Gates. His shot blocked by Dupre. 135 left in the ball game. Kick it ahead to Cruz, left wing. He'll slow it down. Now he'll stop, looks to pass it and does, but the ball picked off there by Mesger. He'll kick it ahead to Gates. Gates looks to drive in, goes down low to Chappelle, but he can't handle it, out of bounds. And the Patriots turn it over. Substitutions into the ball game for the Patriots. They say it's Cordon Bright, number two. The roster I got said Chase Nunley, but we'll go with Cordon Bright. And number 23, Michael Andrew. Canfield has it right side. He'll give it off to Dupre, but Gates gets the steal. So he runs through Dupre, Gates down. Now he'll dunk this one down. Eagles quickly ahead. Canfield drives all the way in. He'll put it up, get the bucket, and one. As he runs into, I believe it was, it will be on Bright. So Canfield will get the bucket and one. Scoreboard still not right. Canfield knocks that one down. A chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. The free throw from Canfield is good. So it should be 57 on the clock, 85-57. Inbound to Gates, pressured by Dupre. Now double team, ball strip free. Brinkater comes away with it. He'll lay it up and in. Brinkater with a steal and the bucket. Kick it ahead, Mesger on the left wing. He'll kick it back up into the hands of Bright, and Bright will be fouled there by Dupre with 48 seconds remaining. Score is still not correct. It is 85 to 59. And that'll send Bright to the free throw line for the one and one. Foul whistled on Dupre. That's his first personal foul. 18 foul on Georgetown. First free throw from Bright. Up, no good. Rebound Brinkater with 45 seconds left. Kicks it ahead to Canfield. He'll get it free off to the left wing. He'll stop and knock a deep three-pointer down from the left side. Canfield continues to shoot well now with 15, 16 in the ball game. Lead cut down to two. 23, 85 to 62. Chappelle in the backcourt, pressured by the Eagles, gets it across the timeline, off to Bright, right wing. He goes baseline to Andrew, he'll fire a three. It's long, no good. Battle for the rebound, Bright comes away with it. He'll go up, Dupre blocks that one, and Dupre tries to get it, and it's called a jump ball. And that'll be a Patriot basketball with 17 seconds remaining. Seventeen seconds remaining. The Patriots have it with a twenty-three point lead. Eighty-five to sixty-two. Inbound to Bright. He goes alley oop style. And they're gonna whistle a foul there. So that'll send Gates to the free throw line. 
They call the foul on Dupre. That's Ryan second. 19 foul on the Eagles. Gates to the free throw line for two shots. First shot by Gates. Bounces off the rim. No good. 15 seconds remaining. The Patriots are going to move up to 5-1 and one on the year. They'll be a second place with one of the teams between Conley and Hendrickson. Brinkater gets the rebound of the second miss. Skips it ahead to Canfield, but it's tipped out of bounds by Bright. Ten seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Eagles will inbound in front of their own bench with ten seconds remaining. Down 23. Cruz has it there. He'll inbound to Canfield. Canfield fakes his man, drives in the middle of the lane, up and around, and can't get the kind roll. Besger with the rebound. Two seconds remaining, and he'll dribble it out, and the ball game comes to an end. 85-62, Eastview gets their first win over the Georgetown Eagles in program history. 1-20 and 20 is the record now, and a big win here tonight to move the Patriots to 4-1 in district play, dropping Georgetown to 3-3. Three and three. Quick timeout. Come back with some final numbers. You're listening to Georgetown Eagle Basketball on SHN. Back here at Eastview High School, the party has begun for the Patriots. A big victory tonight for Eastview, 85-62. to 62. It Keeps them in the fight for the top. They'll be in the number two position in district, tied with either Conley or Hendrickson, whoever loses that head-to-head matchup this week, uh, tonight. So they'll be able to be at four, or five and one. Eastview, or Georgetown, stays at uh, the fourth seed as a three and three on the season with a game Friday night against Bastrop at home. Uh, to finish out the first round of district play. On the night for the uh, Eastview Patriots, eight po- or four points for Gates, eight points for Chappelle, 10 points apiece for Mesger and Prelo, 12 points for Jackson Durr, 13 for Terry on Vincent, and leading for the Patriots and in all scores in the ballgame, Jeremy Helton had 28 points on the night. For your Eagles, uh, three points for Cooper Christensen, Five points for Q Presley. Eight points for Jaden Cruz. 14 points apiece for Kai Canfield and Logan Brinkater. And Ryan Dupre led all Georgetown scorers with 18 points on the night. Eastview moves to 21-7 and seven on the year. 5-1 and one in district play. Georgetown falls to 16-10 and 10 and 3-3 three and three in district play. That keeps them alone in fourth place. Pflugerville. Pflugerville, Elgin, and Bastrop, all one of those teams can move to two and four, uh, but the Eagles will be alone at three and three, still in the number four spot. Top four teams in district move on to uh, the playoffs, and so it's an important win on our game on Friday night against Bastrop for the Eagles to try to come back and, and right the ship before the second round of action begins for District 23. That'll be it for the night. The Eagles fall in a tough one to a cross-town rival, fellow Georgetown Independent School District, Eastview Patriots, 85 to 62. Thanks for listening tonight. Remember, it doesn't cost you a dime to be kind. We will see you Friday night live from Georgetown High School on SHN.